and shed his blood on that cross. He humbled himself. He who created the world, he created the universe, he created all that we see today in this world. And he humbled himself. Yeah. He's more. He's been robbed. All right, all right. All right, mate, you're all right. Christ is good, man. And Amen. He humbled himself and became of no reputation. And he, and he came to die on that cross and, and humbled himself and died on that cross and laid down his life on that cross. And he laid down that Christ. God bless you, sir. He laid down his life on that cross for you because he loved you and gave his life for you. God bless you, He loved you and gave his life for you on that cross. And, and he wants you. He wants you to have new life. He wants you to experience the new joy, the new birth. But if you reject it and push him away, you're pushing away the chance to move from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly. You're moving away from what well, God can change you and make you into a better person. He can change you and make you into a, a butterfly rather than a caterpillar, spiritually speaking. And it starts by being born again, by being a new creature in Christ where the old passes away and, and then you become new. You don't want to look at porn, you don't want to sleep around, you don't want to take drugs, you don't want to swear, you don't want to do these things anymore. You, you have a desire to do better because God has changed you. And it's called being born again of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus says, flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. And there's a spiritual life that you can have that's better than in this world. That's a better thing in this world for you, for your kids, for your family, for your children for your schools, colleges and universities. It will put you on the map, it will make a difference in your life and it's that new life of God in you. Jesus, Paul says he quickened us from the dead